Hey everybody, Rich Menga here again. Right after I did my speed up of Firefox 13 video, people are asking me, do one on Chrome? Okay, I will. There are not as many options in Chrome as there are in Firefox as far as the enabling and disabling of things, but there are certain things you can do in order to speed up the browsing experience. The first thing I'm going to show, now, I'm going to give a warning on this if you mess with this stuff, Chrome's can crash a lot, and I'll show you why. So if I go to, um, actually let me try that again. Type too fast. A B O U T colon F L A G S about colon flags. This is sort of kind of like the about colon config in Firefox but different because it just looks different now there's a whole bunch of stuff and it says right here there's a warning right at the top these experimental features may change break or disappear at any time we make absolutely no guarantees about what may happen if you turn on one of these experiments and your browser may even spontaneously combust jokes aside your browser may delete all your data or your security and privacy could be compromised in unexpected ways. Any experiments you enable will be enabled for all users of this browser. Please proceed with caution. So, this is why I don't really recommend going into the flags area. You will see things like, for example, enabling and disabling of animations and thread compositing and uh, there's quite a few GPU accelerated, meaning uh, things that would more rely on your graphics card than the internal way it, it renders pages like here's one for GPU vertical sync like right here and things of that sort again I would only go here as an absolute last resort you can check it out if you want to but just mm, I don't really recommend it because you can make Chrome very crash happy in a very short period of time you know it's just that's why I don't recommend it that's why the warning is there there's two things that you can do that are easy with Chrome to uh, speed up the browsing experience the first thing is the incognito window and I'll show you why now if you click wrench and click on new incognito window you'll see the uh, window with a little detective guy at the top here most people use this for privacy reasons but it's actually a very easy way to launch a pl mostly plug-in free uh, version of the Chrome browser. And I'll show you why. If I go to Wrench and then to Settings and then to Extensions, now I only have two running, but note that there is a checkbox under each one where you can allow or disallow this plugin to run in incognito mode by default no plugin is set, no extension, I'm sorry, is set to run in incognito. I would leave it this way because that means when you launch an incognito window it's not running any of these extensions, which is great, which means things should run faster and in my experience they do. If I notice my Chrome browser is slowing down for whatever reason I just do a control shift N like if you do, you'll notice that next to new incognito window it tells you what the uh, keyboard shortcut is for that so control shift N I'm in an incognito window now and this is not running any extensions meaning it will be faster which is good the other thing which I just did an article on is click to play click to play speeds things up a lot just for the fact it doesn't run flashes much or at all actually so wrench uh, where was I? Settings. And at the bottom, you may have to scroll down to see it, there is Show Advanced Settings. Little itty bitty teeny tiny. I don't like that Chrome kind of hid this sort of. That's ah, dumb. Used to be in a better spot. So Show Advanced Settings and right under Privacy there is Content Settings. And you click that and scroll down a little bit under the Plugins header. Click to play. Now, what does that do? I'll show you. If you go to a YouTube page, and uh, I'll just load up a video here. 
Now this looks broken. It's not. This is click to play in action. Anywhere there is flash there is a big gray box. If you hover over it with your mouse there's the notice to click to run flash and if you click it the flash runs. If you don't it doesn't run. It's as simple as that. Essentially this means you don't really have to run an a uh, flash blocker when you're using Chrome because you can just enable click to play and it does the same job which is fantastic so uh, for places with a lot of flash this speeds things up immensely I, when you don't have that flash enabled when this just has placeholders like this waiting for you to click instead of just automatically running the flash believe me fantastic fantastic you will leave it enabled all the time especially for those of you on older slower computers it's a godsend so anyway that's basically the two tips I have for making Chrome run faster is just to experiment with the incognito window and enable click to play and click to play does work in incognito as well it's uh, across all browser session, yeah, sessions so that's it there's really not much more I can say and again about the about flags section be careful with that because it can get the browser really messed up and crashing all over the place so just like I said you be careful with that or just don't touch it just use click to play an incognito and believe me you'll you'll notice the difference